YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. As you can see in this video, I'm gonna be dropping out three traits that every man should have or three things every man should do or, you know, saying this to be on the right path to success and to be, you know, um, I should say trying to self-improve yourself, you know, and yeah, this is really just for the men because again, I am a man, but women, I know I have women viewers, comment, let me know if these three things are facts, if this is things you look towards in a man and things like that in that nature, because honestly, you got a lot of guys who don't know these things. They weren't raised with a father in the house, you know, or just maybe they're just kind of just ignorant to the situations. But yeah, fellas, these are three things that you're definitely going to want to um, implement into your life and three things that you're going to want to just be, you know? So yeah, let's get this going. FVO, stay fed from my negativity and all. Hey, before I go with this video, like, subscribe, comment. Like, hit that subscribe button and then hit that bell because you want to see my shit. Cause I'm coming with some heavy, 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 heavy game. You know what I mean? Um, I know I haven't been out here as consistent, but I'm telling you I'm coming. I got a lot of other stuff to worry about. As you can see, got the shop to manage. I got the DJing going. I have a lot of things I have in my life that um, take me away from YouTube, but don't get it wrong. I appreciate everybody watching. Um, every day I find out new people who watch my videos, you know, and I appreciate y'all so much. Um, just clicking on the video hosts me so much, man. And yeah, let's go. All right, one, hygiene. Fellas, I know this is kind of, it should be common sense, but wash your ass, man. Wash your ass. You shouldn't be coming outside and your balls smell like yesterday. Y'all should shower every fucking day. Look, I shower two, sometimes three times a day, okay? I shower in the morning, you know, or I at least wash my face. But majority of the time, I'm hopping in that shower. I'm be real with you. I hop in the shower, wash my balls with soap, you know, I'm an Old Spice advocate. I fuck with Old Spice, you know what I mean? So Old Spice is where it's at, you know? Definitely get a bar of soap, you know, because understand this. Now, the Old Spice is for the scent. It's not going to wash your balls. Get a real bar of soap, you know what I'm saying? A Dove bar of soap, whatever they have, whatever brand you want to use, but a real antibacterial soap that's going to clean your balls, your armpits, get your elbows, and your, and your belly button. I know it sounds funny, but clean your belly button. Your belly button. This is something I just learned as well, that, you know, it's like a crap your ass, your belly button. So clean that up, you know, your neck, everything, you know. I don't wash my hair every fucking day. I'm going to be real with you. It's just not good to wash your hair every day because it kind of gets rid of your natural oils. I wash my hair like two or three times out of the week, a deep clean, you know. Um, But I always style my hair. I'm always moisturizing my hair, putting products, you know, like right now it looks kind of dry, but there's some product in here. You know, I got, you know, I got that mix here, you feel me? But when it's wet and I... Wet it up, it's super, super curly, you know, but that's one thing I do implement in my life, man, is just washing your balls right, you know, and also it comes into hygiene, brushing your teeth, you know, two times a day, two times a day. I brush my teeth probably like three, four times a day because after I eat and other, other stuff, but like I was saying with the showering though, I shower every night and I shower every morning and then a lot of the times I'm showering after the gym, you know, so Come on, you know, um, there's times where, you know, it's a weekend and I'm out, you know, when I'm working, it's usually Monday through Friday, Monday through Saturday, I'm working, I'm showering two times a day in the morning and then at night after the gym and then I'm good. But like sometimes on a, on a Saturday or Sunday when I'm outside, I might shower in the morning, I might work out and shower after that. And then I might have went through my, the rest of my day and I showered again, you know, because I like my body feeling clean. I like to feel clean. I like to smell good. Every man should. I don't understand why you guys are not washing your ass properly or brushing your teeth properly. Brush your teeth two times a day. Two times a day. Floss them motherfuckers. I just learned about water flossing. Shout out, shout out stuff is cold. Um, I don't know what that is, but I'm going to look up what it is. I'm going to find out what it is. And if it's something that you know, meets my requirement or if it catches my eye, I'm going to get it. But I'm always flossing. You know, get them little ones and a little string and a little end piece. You know, I don't like the regular floss. I like the little ones, the little, you know what I'm talking about? It has like a little piece of uh, a string and then at the end of it, it's like a little toothpick you could pick your teeth in. That's what I use, you know? Um, but yeah, like washing your ass, you know, put some cologne on. But look, understand this. Do not put cologne. Please. Do not put cologne on smelly ass. Do not put cologne on smelly ass. You can't, look, you can't come outside, smell like the, 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 the inside of your ass smells, right? But you want to spray some cologne. I don't care if it's the cheap stuff or some Dior Sauvage. You still smell like ass. 
When that clothes comes off, and let's say you about to go fuck, right? You about to go fuck a woman, right? When you take that clothes, the heat of the smelly ass. You understand? This is all heat, y'all. Balls, ass, it absorbs heat and moisture. So y'all just spraying cologne ain't doing shit. You got to really go in the shower and scrub your balls, man. Get in there. Make sure you, sh you know, you, you ain't got to shave all the way how you bald your balls and everything. But trim. Don't have a motherfucking rainforest cafe. What the fuck is going on with y'all, man? Take care of that. Take care of that. Like, and it's, it needs to be said. Take care of that. All right? Get you a nice cologne. Women love that, man. Women love a man that smells good. I'm telling you. Look, I'm a young nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. I'm a young king. You feel me? Young nigga. with Y'all y'all, y'all understand. Same tomato, tomato. So, this is something coming from a young man. All right? Women love a man that smell good. And I'm dating women my mama age. I'm probably fucking with one of y'all mamas or fucking one of y'all aunties as we speak. Because I like older women. I like older women. I love women 10, 20 years older than me. I love it. I love it, man. And I'm always getting compliments from these grown-ass women. And these young-ass women, too. So I got all the age groups, bro. They love a man that smells good. I always smell good. Always smell. I always clean up. I always wash my ass every two times a day. I'm always spraying a couple sprats of cologne. And don't overdo the cologne. Don't be that nigga that's... <laughs> you spraying the whole motherfucking bottle on you. It ain't that serious. Especially if you're getting that good shit like me. If you're getting that good shit, you spend like $200, $300 on a, on a, on a bottle of cologne... All you really need is like four sprays, man. You know what I'm saying? One, two, two. One on the wrist, two. You know what I'm saying? And then one behind the ear, two. You know, you good. You don't need too much. That's you trying to cover up the smelly ass smell. That's what you're trying to do. You're trying to cover up that your ass has not been washed in a couple days. And that's not normal. That's not normal to me. I don't get how people could go two days without washing their ass. I don't get how... Motherfuckers to stay over somebody's house, right, and not wash their ass the next morning. I pay attention to that. If a girl comes over my house, right, and I know I beat up them guts, I know that pussy was busting. So you know she got all the 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 the, uh, the pre cum of her pussy. You know what I'm saying? If you don't wipe after we fuck, or if you don't want to hop in that shower after we fuck, oh I ain't fucking with you again. I ain't fucking with you again. You ain't trying to wash up? Oh hell no. Ain't nothing sexy to me. That when a woman wipes up after I fucked her, like when I put her book, man. After I done got her, her damn spine, I'm telling you, after she wipes up her pussy and wants to hop in the shower, oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm get this dick ready because I'm gonna pop in that bitch again. You know what I mean? We're gonna do her round six in this motherfucker. We're gonna be doing some Floyd Mayweather fighting this motherfucker. You know what I'm talking about? Because I love a woman that takes care of her hygiene. That shit is sexy as shit for me. And vice versa. Women love a man that takes care of his hygiene, fellas. So yeah, that's number one. Number two, put some clothes on, man. Put some clothes on. You should like to dress well. You should care about that. You should care about dressing well. You should care about how you look. You should care about first impressions. Why do you want to be the dude bummy all day? And I'm not saying you have to be like me and, and put on button ups and shit. Like this is this is not an everyday occasion for me. I'm a I'm a t-shirt, jean, excuse me, and Jordan type of guy, sneaker type of guy. I don't always gotta be Jordans because I like exclusive shit. Excuse me, I like exclusive shit. I like different. I like New Balances. I like Adidas. I like regular Nikes. I like Dunks. I like all types of shit. You know, I'm just starting to kind of get into the whole designer shoe wear. I like certain shoes, but it's like the price is just not for me. I'm not with it. I don't care how much money I got. I don't care how rich I am. I don't care. My money's super, super long. For all you know, my money's long right now. For all you know, you know, so you'll never know the difference, man. I'm telling you, I'm the same type of guy. But every now and in a, you know, maybe one of these days, I go ahead and spend me five to six hundred dollars on a pair of shoes because I deserve it. I deserve it. You know what I mean? I deserve it. I deserve it. You know. So that's that's one thing, man. Like. Take care of the way you dress. Care about that, man. And also a hygiene, like your skin, you know, like do if you don't like skin routines, at least wash your face. You know, I'm not really big on that. Maybe like once or twice a week, I'll do like some type of face treatment. But I don't really get like acne like that on the regular. I usually get acne and shit when I'm eating things I'm not supposed to eat, you know, and drinking pop and all that bullshit. But once I start to stop doing that, eating healthier, drinking more water, my skin just tends to naturally just get glowing. You know, like my skin right now is glowing. Like, come on, man. Come on, man. I'm beautiful. You feel me? But honestly, just 
Understand that the way you dress, the way you carry yourself plays a big part. Shout out Treacy. Me, me and my cousin Treacy were just talking about this shit. You know, like women like a man that dresses well, you know, have the, the clothes fit you properly, you know, care about yourself, man. It's not feminine to like to like to look nice out here in these streets. If anything, it makes you more masculine and it makes you more step a step one step ahead of the game because you got dudes out here don't that don't care and they think that's supposed to be masculine, being out here looking bummy and shit. No, it's not. You know, tailor your clothes. I'm not saying work tight ass clothes. I had a, a, a little stage in my life where I didn't notice it, but I was wearing real tight clothes. I didn't notice it because I was losing a lot of weight. So I didn't really peep that. And I thought I was going to stay at that weight. But really me being more like um, having more mass on me makes me look better. You know, um, it is. I just like having more mass too. I don't want to really be real too skinny. Um, I'm not the tallest guy in the world. So um, I don't want to be one of them toothpick ass dudes it's not me i like to have my mask i like to eat i'm a bigger guy you know i'm just not the tallest but i'm b-o-n you feel me um if you don't know what b-o-n means shut up king louis big old nigga you know what i'm talking about 100 um god gave me height in other places if you know what i mean you know what i'm talking about <laughs> hell no um but yeah y'all like um dressing you know it don't have to be the most expensive clothes i just went to marshall's today and i bought me a couple of nice things bought me some underwear shirts you know i spent a little like 130 bucks but i got stuff that's gonna last me and i got stuff that i pick out pieces i'm not the guy that's going to the damn store and buying the whole mannequin that's not me i'm not doing that. i'm going to the store i'm gonna get this jeans with these shoes and this shirt and they might make an outfit but guess what i could make five different outfits with these jeans, with this shirt, and with these shoes. So that's how I do my shopping for me, because I feel like it just, I like clothes that last me. I'm not the type of guy who's gonna tell you this, oh, I only wear things one time. I'm not Lil Durk, I'm not one of these rappers, I'm not trying to be. You know, I don't mind wearing a shirt three, four, five times, you know? I'm not gonna wear it the same week, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna wear the same outfit, but it's gonna be mixed and matched, and it's gonna look nice. I'm telling you, man, like, a lot of y'all think that Dressing well is buying new shit every day or buying the most expensive things on the regular. No, it's not. No, it's not, y'all. I'm telling you. I got this shirt for like 12 bucks at Marshalls. I got these jeans for like 25 bucks, probably at Marshalls. I got the, the boots I got in the back, bro. I, they're some black suede cold ass boots. I'm wearing my Crocs right now. I wear my Crocs when I'm at work and shit because sometimes my feet be killing me. I got real flat feet. Um, I got them joints for like 30 bucks, like some real nice suede black boots for 30 bucks at fucking, guess what? Foreman Mills. That's another lick for y'all. If y'all looking for spots for the cheap, go to Foreman fucking Mills. If you have a Foreman Mills near you, you need to go there. Go check it out. You might find some shit you like. And they, don't, they don't only have clothes too. They got stuff for your car. They got stuff for your crib. Everything at a cheap, cheap price, bro. And... I got stuff that lasts longer than things I bought from Marshalls and other places. Like I said, I'm not the big person that goes to the Gucci store and ball out. I don't do that. I don't see the point of me going and spending up to fucking three to four thousand dollars, you know, two thousand dollars on some clothes, and it's not even a, a, a thing I could really mix and match. I like to go to places like Marshalls where I can get my money's worth. I'm gonna go get like six, seven different outfits for like three hundred bucks, four hundred bucks. I like that. That's just me, you know? That's how I'm always going to be. You know, maybe down the line, I go ahead and go get me a shirt from Gucci. Because I like Gucci. Go get me some Gucci shoes. But Gucci shoes are very uncomfortable anyway. So, but I like comfort. But to each his own, you know? But yeah, y'all, dressing well, man. That's definitely like, man, y'all, dressing well is definitely a big part, you know, of being a man and really just keeping yourself up to par. Like I said, the simplest outfits could go a long way. Man, like, it don't matter if it's $10, a $10,000 outfit or if it's a $200 outfit. She gonna suck the dick the same. It's, you know what I'm saying? The, the dick don't get bigger if you wear expensive clothes. You know what I'm saying? The dick don't get smaller if you don't wear expensive clothes. The dick gonna be in her mouth regardless. Ain't nothing changing, bro. You know, she gonna get fucked the same. She gonna call you daddy the same. It ain't really too much of a difference. You know, it's just the entertainment business is making it seem like you have to do this in order to get this. It's not that. This ain't that, and that ain't this. You feel me? Shout out Jeezy. Fuck we talking about. <laughs> All right, y'all. Number three. Now, look. This is this is something that I want to say. It could be a trait. Confidence. Just keeping your head up, bro. 
keep your head up and fully, fully being confident in yourself, man. Like, um, walking with a, with a fucking, with a, with a, walking with a, for a reason, walking with a passion, keeping your head up, you know, knowing that you're the man, understanding this is something I go by. Nobody is better than me, but I am better than nobody. We are all gods, but we all have higher ones. That's the way I believe my, in my life and the way I travel my pathways and the way I go through my day-to-day -day life because I'm, I'm agnostic. I don't really believe in the whole Muslim culture or the whole Christian culture or the whole Catholic culture. You know, I just believe that there is a God. I do pray. I do believe the cross is a symbol of, of good faith, you know, so I do wear that on me and I do, you know, but it doesn't make me a Christian or Catholic. It doesn't make me against what Muslims say because a lot of things the Muslim heritage has to say, I like as well, you know, but confidence, man, is like just that thing you just got to have, man. Even if you got to fake it sometimes, um, fake it till you make it. That's one thing that could implement into confidence. Sometimes you might not be as confident. Maybe that girl, you think she's out of your league, but whole time, man, she's been eyeing you, bro. She's been eyeing. You, you've seen ugly ass dudes with beautiful ass women. And sometimes it has nothing to do with money, man. Like y'all so, y'all so big headed on money. Y'all think that money is going to gain that confidence. There's a lot of bitch ass dudes that have money. There's a lot of, uh, uh, of cool ass, humble ass dude who just don't have the money, who just don't have it right now, but they'll get there. Money is always going to be there. The confidence has to be in you. You can't, you can't put confidence on you. It has to be in you. And sometimes you have to build that confidence. Sometimes you have to go years of being a fucking bitch and being scared of everything and, and, and not understanding who you, who you truly are in order for you to gain that confidence. So understand that like, it's not easy. It's not, I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and tell you it's easy because it's not. But at the end of the day, you have to try. You have to try. You know, um, confidence doesn't always have to be coming, uh, have to do with women. But at the same time, a lot of it does because a lot of guys are scared of women. And no, no, I'm not saying all oh, scared as in all, oh, they're going to beat my ass. So much scared as you feel like you're not good enough for them. You feel like they're out of your league because they're beautiful. And look, I'm going to tell you like this, bro. I don't give a fuck how bad she is. Every woman in my book is a five until I hear you open up your fucking mouth. You know, I don't give a fuck if you're the baddest of the bass, like fucking Lauren London bad. She's a five to me until I hear her speak. And I see how she is as a person. Personality is huge for me. So y'all should never be scared to go up to no woman and talk to him. But it's okay, because guess who was? I was very scared to go up and talk to a woman. I don't know what it was. I just felt like I wasn't there. I, I wasn't uh, good enough. Like I just said, y'all, like that was things that were going through my head. So I know if it's something that went through my head, it's probably going through a lot of y'all heads as well. And that's okay, because y'all could fix that. Those are things that can be fixed. One thing as a man also, I'm, this is an added tip. Stop trying to worry about things that can't be changed. Like me, I used to hate that I wasn't taller. I used to hate that I'm fucking, I'm 5'8", five, 5'9", five, a fucking good day. You know, I used to hate that because I love basketball. I always wanted to be a fucking basketball star. You know, I always wanted to hoop. It just wasn't, you know, I just naturally just didn't grow to do it, you know. And um, it wasn't something I was consistent with. I liked to hoop at parks and stuff, but I wasn't always on team sports. I didn't grow up doing AAU basketball. I did one little year of that shit and it didn't really last me long because guess what? I found barbering. You know, this is what I really love to do. You know, even while I was playing ball in teams, I was focused on barbering and that's okay. Everything's not for everyone. Do I still go play now? Yeah. Am I crying about my old NBA dreams not working? No. No, I'm not. I'm not worried about that shit. It's over already. I still could play basketball. That's a blessing. I'm still doing what I love to do. That's a blessing. So you can't change things. You can't mope on things that you can't change. If, if, if you're light-skinned, stop crying about it. If you're dark-skinned, stop crying about it. If, like, I don't, like, you, if you grew up with not the best parents, you can't sit around and cry about it. Honestly, man, like, I found myself, I found myself, Always trying to look out for people, especially when they didn't have the best upbringing as me. Look, we all got dealt a table of cards, a hand of cards. At the, it's like spades. At the end of the fucking day, play your cards right and try to make something happen. You're either going to make board or you're not. So all that, oh, my parents, oh, my parents, they love me. Oh, my parents, they love me. Okay, bro, 
Get over it. Get over that shit. Man or woman, get over that shit. You can't change it. God bless me with a good ass family that really does care about me and looks out for me on a regular basis whenever I need them. I was blessed with that. But am I, am I giving a billion dollars like how Trump kids were? Am I living like Will Smith's kids? Am I living like fucking Martin Lawrence's kids? Am I fucking living like the Rothschild's kids? No, I'm not. But am I, hey, hey, am I crying? No, I'm not fucking crying about it, man. Get the fuck up, get to work and make your own money. Make your own life. Make your own family. Shit, find your own people. You didn't like how your parents treated you? Treat your kids better or treat any other kid better. Every kid deserves love from every fucking adult. That's why I hate child molesters. I hate y'all motherfuckers. I swear to God, like, I hate child molesters, man. I hate rapists. I hate child molesters. Y'all motherfuckers deserve to die. Put y'all motherfuckers in an electric chair type shit. You feel me? So, honestly, y'all, like, fellas, confidence, man. Build it, learn it, and love it. And understand, stop trying to change things you can't change. Let it be. Okay, she don't want to be with you because you're too short. Then fuck her. Fuck, man, look. I love tall women for a reason like this because I want my kids to be big and no motherfucker. Like, I want my sons to be like, damn. And I'm right next to them. Because don't get it twisted. I'm a, I'm a big motherfucker. I'm telling you that right now. Like, this, is, this, is, this is little with me. Wait, wait five years from now. Watch. Watch five years from now. You'll be like, damn, that nigga Cisco be speaking stuff into existence because I do. I do. I speak every motherfucking thing into existence. Everything that comes out of my mouth, I make happen. Whether it's a year from now, two years from now, three years from now, or ten years from now, it's going to happen. If I truly believe in it, if I truly want it, it's going to happen. And that's confidence. Have confidence in your life. Have confidence in yourself. Have confidence in your brain, the words you speak. Can't nobody give you confidence, man. You got to do it for yourself. A lot of the times, y'all want things to be handed to you. Y'all want, want people to tell you what you want to hear. No. Other added tip. Stop having yes men around you. Stop having yes women around you. Don't let motherfuckers tell you what you want to hear. You need to hear what you got to hear. Have the right people around you, man, at all times. And stay calm, even if, like I said, even if you have to fake it to make it, remain confident. And look, confidence, don't be arrogant, be humble. Be humbly confident at all times, man, at all times. And like I said, nobody is better than you in anything. No one's better than me in anything. You might have had a better day in the basketball court, but you're not better than me. You might know a couple more moves than me, but you're not better than me. And I'm not better than you. That's the way I move. That's the way I move. And that's, that, to some it makes sense, to some it don't. I don't give a fuck. I'm not trying to explain myself. Whatever goes through my head, goes through my head. I never look at anybody less than me. But I'll never let nobody be bigger than me. No, never that. I don't care how much money you got, how tall you are, how many bitches you got, what cars you got, what clothes you got, what house you got. I don't give a fuck, fam. You don't compare to me because you're not me. You're not, you're not a real friend like me. You're not, you're not, a, you're not a friend like me. You're not, you're not Danny. You're not Cisco. You're not me. So at the end of the day, I'm happy. You're not seeing outside of these eyes. You don't know what goes through my head. You don't know my dreams. And that's the way you got to move, man. That's the way you got to move, man. At all times, bro. I'm going to end this video on a good note. Love yourself. Respect yourself. Love thy neighbor. You know what I'm saying? Love all. Trust none. You know what I mean? Because people switch up like seasons. They will switch up on you like a damn light switch, man. So be prepared for that type of stuff, man. Life is beautiful. Life is beautiful. Life is beautiful. But just like everywhere else, there's clouds that come up amongst it. At all times, man. Like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, man. All love, gratitude, and respect. To good health and good wealth. FVO. Stay faded from all negativity and all hate, man. Let go. Oops. Hey.